Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Melissa, also known as Green Acting Exotics here on YouTube. I am a Pisces, but I love all signs. I love everybody. I deal with all signs, but I think you'll find guys as a Pisces, I try to do lots of different things here on my channel. So please stay tuned to all of the amazing things coming. I do member perk memberships. Um, I have my website. I do personal readings. I do all kinds of amazing stuff. I also have subscription boxes that you can sign up for. So I have lots of fun different things that I do on my channel. So I really hope that you'll look around and that you'll join the family and that you'll subscribe. So don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. And to all my returning subscribers, you guys know how much I love and appreciate you so much. Guys, as you know, these readings are always very general. So anything that is pertaining to your particular energy, please, anything that is pertaining to my channel will always be linked down below. How to book personal readings with me, how to donate to my channel, how to follow me on Instagram and Facebook, any type of sales or deals or anything, everything will always be linked down below in regards to my channel. So with all that being said, guys, let's get into the video. Hey, Capricorns. Um, welcome to your, I'm going to say soul kind of journey reading. That's kind of like, I think what I've been calling them, like a soul journey reading. Oh, let me switch it up. Sorry. I was just doing Libras. There we go. Capricorns. Sorry. Um, yes. Yeah, so, Hey guys. So welcome to your soul like journey reading. Um, as I was telling all the other signs, I normally do like an astrology read this week, but for some reason for the past, like maybe. I want to say maybe like three weeks to like a month. I've definitely been feeling like a big shift in a lot of people, like as a collective, like a lot of people have been wanting and I, I can feel a lot of people wanting, right? To like learn more about like their journey, like what should they be doing or what, you know, what might they be thinking or feeling or things they need to heal? Like who knows, right? But I, I feel this huge amount of energy of people wanting answers. Like they just want to know where to start, where to go, like what to do, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, I just felt it's super important to kind of do a reading like this just because I know that a lot of us always want like guidance and solace and, you know, stuff like that. So that's what we're going to do for this week. And I hope you guys enjoy. Um, I've been super enjoying them super well as well. Um, they've all been super good. Like I, I just feel that because like I said, everybody's kind of searching and, you know, it's good to search. It's good to seek answers and know that there's different things out there in the world, in the universe, right? So let's get started, Capricorns. Um, I have a little bit more energy now since I tapped into you guys, but for some reason I felt so bad for Libra. I, I sounded so down because for those of you who don't follow me on Instagram or Facebook, I took a stumble on Saturday, like a bad stumble. Long story short, it just, I stepped the wrong way saying good morning to someone. It just, it was the most hilarious story, but nonetheless i'm waiting for results but it's just i've been in a lot of pain so i've just been kind of like trying to like chill you know but nonetheless i said let me do capricorn's reading as well i said because they've got really good like fast you know like energy i said so if i tap into it i was like i can distract myself from the pain and that's exactly what happened so thanks capricorns because i don't really feel the pain right now i'm too i'm too anxious and like hype right so let's get into your guys's reading Let's see, what do we have for my Capricorns? My Capricorns who will be watching now and my Capricorns who will be watching later. What do we have for my Capricorns in regards to the spiritual soul journey? What do we have for my Capricorns? Yeah, a lot of you have been like super anxious and it's like more so than usual, which is weird, but... Yeah, it's more so than usual. It's because you guys always feel obstacles. You guys always feel like um, like you're never getting anywhere when you do try to seek like spirituality or like whatever. You know what I'm saying? Like you guys, you you try, like you do believe, like wholeheartedly, like in your heart, um, you guys do believe, right? Hold on, we're going to put it this way because this is what you guys are doing, basically. So you guys are basically like having a fight within yourselves about wh whether or not you really shouldn't trust in a higher power, whether you really should, you know, you know, leave your life in the hands of just whatever out there, right? Like you guys are in the energy in your journey that you're really seeking answers and you guys want something tangible. Like that's, that's the problem though. When you guys seek something tangible, you end up like completely missing the idea of something, right? You end up completely missing the world, basically like your life. When you spend your lifetime 
never like really completing lessons or trying to, you know, bring things together. Like uh, what I'm picking up with you with a lot of you Capricorns for now, for some reason, is that like I said, like you guys are not you're not completing things. You're not really digging deep. You're not really completing lessons and and trying to really figure out what's going on. I I'm picking up that the older generation of Capricorns is doing this now. But you younger ones, you're going to fall into the trap. And it's so crazy because if you know an older Capricorn, you should probably go talk to an older Capricorn Capricorns because I'm going to tell you right now, the older Capricorns are finally, and I'm talking about maybe 60, 70 year olds and, and over, their energy now is shifting because they're finally starting to open up their eyes to the fact that there is a higher power and that they can connect and that they can change their lives for the better, right? So the younger ones of you Capricorns, if you know an older one, I I'm telling you, seek some counsel for sure, because they could probably tell you about being angry or waking up upset or being pissed at the world. That's I feel like the world always pops up like that, because I feel like you guys, sometimes you could wake up and just be angry. And you don't even know what. And sometimes you guys don't even know what. And, you know, it, it just stems a lot from past things and ancestral things and all this kinds of crazy stuff. But you guys don't even realize that you could totally be in the energy of kicking some major ass in this world. Like when I tell you CEOs of companies and crazy freaking inventions that need to be made in order to combat whatever the hell is coming in this world, because I know that there's a lot of shit coming. I can feel it, but it's like an energy of you guys rising up and it's almost like that's your purpose. You guys are so highly intelligent. You guys are like the father and the mother of the Zodiac. You guys are highly wise and intelligent and all of that energy could be being put for you to you guys creating your absolute most amazing life. But it's just that you guys always remain in an energy of like, why does this always happen to me? Or why do, it's because the negative thinking. If you guys switch up your negative thinking, you would be golden. You guys would be freaking golden. I promise you. Because your guys' energy is amazing, Capricorns. Amazing energy. Five, 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 as I said that, I'm telling you, change is coming for you. You guys have an amazing, amazing Energizer Bunny energy, like constantly going. I don't have Capricorn in my chart. My son is a Capricorn and my mother's a Capricorn. But I'll tell you right now, I'm constantly around them and I'm constantly tapping into their energy. Like they, I can constantly go all day long when I tap into their energy. I kid you not. I kid you not. You guys have all this energy that you could just put forth into any type of idea, creation, journey that you want to start. And you guys would legit be successful. I'm going to leave it at that for that. I'm going to leave it at that for that. Find yourself an older generation Capricorn and start talking to them and, and asking them. Seeing like asking and saying, hey, did you, you know, like, do you feel like things bother you less now that you're older? Like, what, like I'm telling you. If you guys know an older Capricorn, you should talk to them for some for some guidance. Let's see. What else do we have for my Capricorns? Yeah, see? Take care of your needs. And what was I saying? Trust in your higher forces. Trust in your higher forces. You guys, I'm telling you, you guys have no idea with what, like, what you could do with your energy. We need you, Capricorns. We need all those amazing ideas and technology to start rising up, young Cappies. I'm telling you. Yep. Energetic upgrades. A new way of being. Integration. What was I saying? Oh, my God. Am I freaking out? No. Sometimes I freak out a little bit when messages always come together. But then look it. Get grounded. Empaths. Highly sensitive. Connect with nature. A lot of you probably don't even realize. Well, actually, no. A lot of you probably do realize because a lot of you do like to be outside. It's almost like you like to be outside to have your cup of coffee or, you know, um, like a walk. You feel like re-energizes you or you just feel calm. Like anything having to do with outside and nature, it tends to ground you guys. But you guys don't do it enough. You do enjoy doing it when you do it, but you don't like incorporate it enough. Do you know what I mean? Instead of taking that energy and actually putting it towards things like that. You take it into something different and then you tend to stay inside more when really you should be out more. Your energy needs to be out more because that's when that energy is going to get transmuted type of thing. And it's like it'll go from being super, super hyper where you feel like you can't concentrate on one per like particular thing to 
Now you're grounded and now you know the projects and now you know I got to do 30 minutes of this and I got to do... You understand what I'm saying? Try it and tell me what you guys think. I'm telling you. Try it and tell me what you guys think. Let's see. What else? What else do we have for my Capricorns? Thank you. That one wanted to come out too, so... Yep, forgiveness and trust. Forgiveness and trust. Forgiving that you've wasted so much time, right? And then entrusting that now you're not going to waste any more time and completely entrusting in your higher power and God, the universe, right? However you want to believe in it or however you want to call it, guys, it's a higher power. It's energy. It's, it's, you know, it's like magical. I mean, it really is. You can tap into it. So you have to forgive yourself for wasting all this time, okay? And now entrusting that you're good to go and that you're protected, that you can go. You got the green light. Let me see. What the, see, because like I now... For Libra, it was spring and summer. For Pisces, it's been like fall and winter. For you guys, there's not really anything significant. You guys literally have this whole year to kind of figure out um, like what's going on with your journey and stuff like that. So that tells me you guys are still going to be on, on this journey. You guys are still going to be on your soul searching journey for like a little bit. This year, won't. it's not going to be like the end of the year and you're going to be like, oh, I found myself or whatever. No, it's going to take a while. It's going to be a process. Yeah, look, deep breathing. I work on this with my son sometimes, this deep breathing stuff, and it seems to really help him. And I'm going to tell you why. Because when you stop for a second, because like I said, your guys' energy is so intense, right? But it's such a good intense. Do you know what I'm saying? Like Capricorns, I feel get a, a really bad rap, and I and I get it, you know, because you guys are the father and mother of Zodiac. So it's like your delivery of stuff and information to people, people take it the wrong way. Not realizing that, you know, you guys are very wise. And you guys are. You guys are. Listen, I truly, like, learned this year, I have to say, and I have to tell her because I haven't even told her yet, but I literally the other day was thinking, like, wow, my mother's always warned me about so much shit. I was like, as a Capricorn, not even being a mom, not even being a mom, but as a Capricorn woman, okay, my mother has always, and I always knew my mother was wise and smart. It wasn't that I didn't want to listen to her, but obviously, like, I started to, you know, I got, I got older, I became my own person. Like, I didn't want anybody to tell me what to do, especially I'm a Pisces, like, forget it, right? And Pisces and Capricorn, like this, okay? So the other day I started to really realize like a lot of things that she had told me, you know, about like maybe people or, or just things in life, you know, just kind of like my gift because my mom has the gift as well. I've always told her that. I've always told her she's she's special. Like I, I told her I always felt like I got all of my abilities and my gifts and my powers. Like I always, it's from my family, right? So I started to think the other day and I said, wow. I was like, I mean, I know everything was meant to happen the way it's supposed to happen. I said, so I have no regret, of course. But if I would have just listened to my mom, I said, my life would be extremely different right now. It really would. My mom warned me about so many things and I never listened. I never listened as a stubborn teen, you know, whatever I was, you know, in my try. I just never listened. So you guys are the father and mother of the Zodiac. You guys have very valuable, wise information and very intelligent information to give people. So you have to ground yourself so that all that stuff can be delivered in a very wholesome, loving manner as opposed to a very like, harsh need to do what I tell you to do because I know what I'm saying type of thing. You understand what I'm saying? Because we do know, you know what you're saying. We know you're right. 90% of the time I'm going to say that, but 10% you guys can be wrong. 10% you can be wrong, but I will give you this 90%. You guys are right. I'm going to say 90%. You guys could bring the hate anybody else or whatever the case, but I will say it. I'm saying it here. I'm a Pisces. My mother and my son are Capricorns. 90% of the time, I'm, I'm going to admit it, 90% of the time, they write, but then they do have that 10% where they're wrong, okay? We all do, but Capricorns, not, not for nothing, but they do give good guidance. They do give good guidance. They do give good advice, okay? It's just really whether we're willing to, like, take it in. That's the problem that people have is how they take it in, right? If you focus on this type of deep breathing and just taking a break and really, like, grounding yourself, your delivery will be so much better, all right, copies, let's see. Let's get one final card. We're going to get a Cosmic Journey Oracle. I'm excited to see what you guys do with this new energy and this new mindset. Your greatest work is your legendary legacy. You see what I'm saying? You contain the entire universe encoded within you, like the father and the mother of the Zodiac. You know what? I'm just, we're just going to tap out there because I rest my case. I, 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 we're going to tap out there. You guys have an amazing journey ahead of you. You just have to be willing to step in and start it and actually dedicate the time to make your life better, okay? Once you do that, unstoppable. Unstoppable, Capricorns. That's, it's unstoppable. That's all I can say. It's unstoppable. 
All right? All right. I wish you guys a lot of luck with this. I hope you guys enjoy. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. And you guys know how much I love and appreciate you so much. And I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys. Mwah.